Is this water costing me goes? Yes, the world will never know. Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. You already know what it is. It's Marcella Monique. Did y'all like understand what I did though? All right, y'all. Anyways, I'm back. I'm back. Um, the last time y'all see me, I was doing the New York vlog. I hope y'all really enjoyed it. You can check it out right here, or you can click it up here or here. I don't know, it's gonna be. But yeah, check out my vlog. I was in New York for about four days. Um, it was kind of like a girls' trip, but also for my sister's 21st birthday. Um, I was a drunkie, so are we surprised? No. But um, yeah, I'm back. I'm sitting down again. I got my hair out. Um, I have a hat on because for one, I'm about to go to the store after this and for two, my hair is at that end phase where it like wants to be stiff, but at the same time, it's still got a little bit of, do it, do it move, my hair stiff, <laughs> but no, I'm at the end phase where it's like, it's, it's stiff, it's going to get stiff, but it's still got a little bit of bounce, like you got a little bit of leeway and I'm trying to keep it down because I have to go to a birthday dinner on Friday, so I'm trying to like get my hair down because I don't want to have a curly, but if you know, you know, if you don't, then god bless you but yeah anyway let's get into today's video so today um technically i was supposed to have another video here i go rambling but technically i was supposed to have another video but for some reason it won't transfer over to my computer so love that for me so we're going to talk about some tips on moving out as y'all know i have been in this spot since february again you can check out that video um about me moving out of college and into my apartment stayed in my mom's house for literally like a month and i kind of rushed to move solely because like i had been on my own in college for the last four years and just like coming back to my mom's house was just like no can't do this so as soon as i got home and as soon as i got my um job because also lost my job to covid y'all know that um so i didn't really have pay subs to prove anything so i was in a rush People were denying me, especially because I wasn't making that much. Like I didn't have enough pay subs to prove how much money I was making. So like that's a that's one big thing with moving out. Like you have to fit a credit criteria for some places unless it's a private owner. And then you also have to fit um, some income. I don't want to, excuse me, I don't want to call it an income bracket, but like they require you to make at least three times the rent so that is very important to remember as well um but yeah anyways i couldn't fit much of the criteria um especially the income one because i didn't have a job for a year um like y'all can't have no leeway because it was COVID. like it was fr like my process was very frustrating for sure so um yeah that's a big thing to pay pay attention to income as well as credit and also if you leave somewhere else they'll probably call them or whatever references so yes but i've been here since february um and as time is going on i've learned some things there's some things i don't like um there's some things that i'm i'm already thinking about my next place even though my lease isn't up until next february no i think this lease is 18 months so i don't know i don't know 18 months from february i don't know yeah so anyway just want to give y'all some quick tips on moving out um as y'all know or i'm gonna let y'all know i am a cheapskate 100 percent. so if you're the type of person that wants to be big and balling and living luxurious this probably isn't a video for you this is for my people that want to save some money but also want to kind of pretend like you're living lavishly if that makes sense yeah so we'll get into it so first and foremost on your journey to move out of your parents house or your grandma's house or your grandpa's house or moving out of college wherever you're moving from but this is your first place my biggest these aren't really in no order but by importance or how i feel about them um just kind of was coming off the dome you know but yeah the first tip that i have is try to save up at least three months rent I only say that because if you save up three months, boom, you get paid three months. You also got to pay a security deposit most likely. So let's shoot for two months in security deposit. Um, but I say that because you can take that two months and use the rest of your money or um, your paychecks to start buying stuff for the crib. You don't just want to like, 
I mean, and it's okay if you do, but you don't, it's not really the smartest to just pay like your first month rent and your security deposit. And then on top of that, you're trying to get this and that and this and that and this and that. Now, the only time I feel like that is okay is when you are moving from one place to another. So it's like, there's not really much that you have to buy. But if this is your first, first place, I definitely recommend saving up two to three months of rent just so you could have that extra money to start getting things for the house, if that makes sense. Like your groceries, your bed, your kitchen stuff, your bathroom stuff, all that type of stuff. And those are things that eventually do add up once you're really like shopping and stuff like that. So yeah, recommend that and then just use your other money to buy the little stuff in the crib, which I said three times, but anyway, next. Um, my next thing is don't feel bad about yourself if as soon as you move into your place, you don't have furniture. Do not rush to get anything. I feel like the most important thing that you should grab first is definitely your bed. Try to get the bigger things out of the way. So definitely get your bed first, which is probably going to be your one of your most expensive things unless you already have one. And then from there, I would honestly move on to the kitchen, get some utensils and fill up your fridge. Um, and then from there is when you start moving to like the living room and the bathroom as well. Well, bathroom is important as well. Like that should be your, these are like your top two things. So your bedroom and your bathroom and your kitchen. Um, and then you can start moving on to your bigger stuff like your living room or if you want to get TVs. Um, so like getting your couches and TVs and stuff like that. Um, those are things that you kind of want to hold off on, especially because those are the things that are really going to put your place together. They're kind of the most important things um, to make your place feel homey and don't rush to get a couch. Or you can maybe get a couch or a bed from a family member or something like that. Like the bed that I have, am I right? Yeah, the bed that I have is um it's a full-size bed which is literally big enough for me because i sleep crazy it's not like i got nobody sleeping in the bed with me but it's um actually the bed that i had at my mom's house ever since i was probably like uh, maybe 12. eventually i'm gonna get a new one but for now like it works i don't care it's a bed that i used when i was a kid don't care it's a fool it fits me perfectly and then i just got a bed frame for it but yeah, don't feel bad if you don't have furniture. Don't rush because you're going to end up getting something that eventually you won't like. So make sure that you spend time on getting those bigger things for your apartment for sure. Um, it felt weird for me because I'm looking around like, oh my gosh, like I have nothing in here. I don't want no one to come over. There's nothing in here. But it's not even, it's looking back, it's really not that big of a deal. At least I got somewhere to lay my head because a lot of people don't have that. Okay. <laughs> but yeah, next tip is when looking for um an apartment watch out for like scammy people and weird people um you'll mostly find those on craigslist but the way things are in this world now you could probably find them anywhere like on zillow or um why can't i think of the other apps any of like the apartment apps and stuff like that i'll give you all a really good example it's just like little things that you have to pay attention to when people start getting weird especially as a female so in my search for an apartment i found this really 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 nice apartment it was everything that i wanted um, it was seven hundred dollars plus all like and they paid all utilities so i'm like what um i'm on that so i'm texting the landlord it was never a call which i really prefer calling versus texting when it comes to stuff like this um anyways we're texting boom 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 um trying to get a date set up so that i could come see the place we set a date and then he asked me um it was a man he asked me like, hey, um, are you in college? Just everything. I'm like, no, like I just graduated from Slippery Rock actually. He's like, oh, I went there. So boom, we're having a conversation about Slippery Rock. And then the conversation started to twist and turn a little bit. He was like, started saying stuff like, oh, like you're still like a call, you're still in your college girl phase. So you probably are gonna be drinking a lot. And I'm like, yeah, like I'm, I'm probably gonna like have friends over or like drink by myself. He's like, yeah, well, like if you ever wanna have a drink, like I'll definitely like come over and like drink with you. And I'm like, oh, like, no i don't really i don't think i would feel comfortable with that and then he goes and um so i'm still um like and it's low-key my fault for carrying on a conversation but sometimes i just did see so i'm carrying on a conversation just like trying to just like talk about the place and stuff about it and you know stuff like that he wants to talk about slippery rock and coming over to drink and then he adds me on snapchat and the landlord who i think he was like 29 or third between 29 and 33 he asked me on snapchat you could look me up on snapchat by my phone number like all of my pages are public just because like i'm a creator so he looks me up on snapchat by my phone number and he's snapping me like now he's asking me if i want to have sex with him 
and how he wants to have sex with me on the counter and all this weird stuff. So you gotta pay attention to what people are wearing. Y'all just think if I, if he never would have shown like his true colors and I would have moved in, most landlords have a spare key to these apartments. So what if he would have came in and like trapped me on some weird stuff like that? Like, so it's just like, you really have to be careful and always make sure you talk to the person on the phone, look them up on Google at least. Like there's information out there where you can see landlords and see how many stars are rated and things of that matter. I don't have specific websites, but like I would look people up, look up their Facebook, look up anything. Um, and just, just be careful, especially like if they're asking you for like your cash app or they're asking you for a deposit before you come see the place, which happened to one of my friends. Um, it's just a whole lot of weird stuff going on, on in the world. Like the scamming and the the scamming is just getting out of hand. It's just getting out of hand. Just be careful, pay attention to red flags because you don't want to get yourself caught up in a situation where you either lose money or you put yourself into a dangerous situation. Mm -hmm. All right, next up, and the next tip I have is make the dollar store your best friend. Like I said, I'm a girl who likes to save money. And when I tell y'all, I literally, most of the stuff that's in my kitchen, some of the stuff in my bathroom and like a little bit of the decorations, maybe from the dollar store, like Dollar Tree, Family Dollar and Dollar General. Um, those are places where you could really save some money. I got all of my kitchen utensils, all of my cleaning supplies, all from Dollar Tree. I promise I I got mad stuff cause I'm like obsessive, but I spent like $50 and I still have stuff from February. Like. It was a good $50 to spend and my utensils are, even though it's a dollar store, like the quality of them is really well. I even got pots and pans from them as well. Um, and I got some pots and pans from my friend Paige, which is a good idea to ask people because a lot of people have this pots and pans just sitting in their cabinets that they don't use. So make the dollar store your friend, like for sure, like cleaning supplies, utensils, all that. The dollar store is your friend period next up again for the people that want to save money do not try to live above your means i have two that kind of go hand in hand don't try to live above your means and calculate what your bills are going to look like before you even move so let's say you are thinking about signing this lease you got approved for it. it's 800 dollars a month plus utilities your utilities are usually going to equal 100 dollars together um depending on how efficient you are with turning off your lights and not using um oh and i'm talking about gas and electric as well i'm not counting in water um but just depends on how um mindful you are with using your electricity and using your gas like your heat and maybe your stove um but definitely calculate all your bills and even put your phone bill into that put groceries into that on how much you want to spend um if you're paying off a credit card if you have to pay off school loans just make sure you calculate all of that and have a summary of what your bills are going to look like per month because you need to make sure that if you're going to be moving that you have enough money that can cover all of that in a month um also you got to think about like your wi-fi and your internet if that's something that you want so make sure you calculate that into your bills as well um what i did is i wrote everything down i'm big with writing you could do like a spreadsheet or you could put it in your notes whatever works for you um and just calculate everything also a good idea is to for bills especially because i usually forget but i had someone tell me that it would be a good idea to start putting reminders on my phone or in my calendar so there's a reminders app and i'll try to put a snippet in here of what it looks like or what mine looks like um but i just have a reminders app of all the bills that are coming up all the bills that um that I had paid, haven't paid, or whatever. And then it just sends you a notification of that on that day when it's due, and then boom, you're set to go. Um, I also recommend, this is something that I do, you don't have to do it. I usually pay bills ahead of time just so I don't have to think about it. I pay my rent. Um, I'm like, a, I'm still months ahead, but I'm just like paying, 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 and just, I don't even know what month I'm on. I'm probably in like, I, I don't, I definitely haven't paid a year yet, but I've paid a, about, 10 up to 10 i don't know i just keep paying whenever you tell me that the sh thing's paid off then that's when i that's when i'm gonna know when i'm done paying but i like to pay my bills ahead just because i don't think of it i'm a i'm a very anxious person i'm always nervous i'm always on edge and i always think i'm gonna be behind so i make sure i pay my bills ahead of time but what i was trying to say because i just get carried away y'all i just get so passionate about topics um 
What? What was I saying? Oh, just do a breakdown of all your bills and you'll be good so you know where you stand for the month, period. Okay, next. <laughs> um next this is a good one as well i would recommend looking for places that at least have one utility included i mostly see either which is kind of rare i'll see you'll have to pay gas and electric or you'll have to um just pay electric but the biggest one that i would try to avoid is paying water out of i feel like personally out of all water and sewage out of all the utilities, water is one that is going to cost the most. Because if you think about it, you're doing dishes, you're taking showers, you're flushing a toilet, you're washing your hands, you're washing your clothes. Like, and with water and sewage, like it's calculated on how much comes out and how much goes down or something along the lines of that. Or how much you get rid of. It's all the same thing. How much water do you use? Um, even in my apartment in college, we didn't pay water. All we paid was electric. Um, but here I pay electric and gas. And I will say that I'm pretty mindful. So I never really have to spend an extra $100 a month. Maybe it's like 50, maybe like 70. Um, even though it's not that big of a difference. Like it's a big difference for me. Um, Cause I like to save money. I don't care. Like I like to save money. So I make sure I'm just very mindful but try to find places that have at least something included um, and also put the um, the price of the rent into account as well. So if your rent is like $1,100, yeah, for the type of person that I am, if my rent is $1,100, all utilities need to be included, period, don't care. If my rent is $600, I don't mind paying gas and electric. Even with 700, 800, I won't mind paying gas and electric because that'll just equal itself out. But if you're paying like a thousand dollars and up, girl, y'all, ple please make sure that there's some utilities included. Don't play, please don't. Um, next up, I would say a big tip for moving out: make sure you have an emergency stash of money. You don't want to be down and out and have to ask family to help you pay your rent because that's just kind of embarrassing. And I hope I never get to that phase, but you never know what happens in life. I can't even. I, y'all like the way COVID happens and i lost everything like and they're talking about there's a new strand of COVID. like i really don't know i'm worried like what if i do run out of money what if i lose my job like anything could happen that's why you have to always make sure you have emergency money which you can go and check out my video on how to save money um it's just how i save throughout COVID. so yeah have emergency money next up i would say with your um apartment search do not rush and settle which is what i did so Things that I quote unquote settled for is the kitchen is, I really don't like the gas stove and it's pretty small. I don't really like it. Another thing I settled for is the bathroom. Um, it's a little bit smaller. I need more space. And then actually I also settled for um, like laundry because I have to share it with the girl across from me. Really nice girl. Like we never have any issues with washing clothes, but it's a coin operated washer. So it's just like I'm giving more money to the landlord. I wish I had one that was inside of the apartment, but I feel like if it was inside of the apartment, I probably have to pay water. So I can be thankful. Sometimes I have to drive and get quarters, but um, I definitely did settle kitchen wise and I settled bathroom wise, but I still made it look cute. And I'll give y'all apartment tour soon. Um, last thing I will say to just close this video out is protect your peace and protect your space. This is your space. You don't have to have anybody over here if you don't want them to. You don't want anybody coming over with no bad energy, no bad vibes, or no hate and stuff because this is your place. This is your sanctuary. Make it however you want. Um, and don't let anybody make you feel any less about your place because, like, like people will literally come into your space and be like, mm, mm, well, girl, you can leave. There's the door. Like, I pay the rent here. I pay the bills here. And that's what I'll just be telling myself because I will talk down on myself because I did, like I said, I settled for a kitchen and bathroom. But it's like at the end of the day, I worked super hard for this coming out of a phase in my life where like I felt like I was low key at my lowest, um, especially with COVID. Like a lot of us feel that and coming out of it and being able to be blessed with somewhere to lay my head that I worked hard for that has my name on it is just the best feeling ever because I never thought that I was going to be here, especially um, with the way the world was looking. So, yeah. <sighs> But yeah that is all i have for uh, y'all today if you have any questions or you want any help on your apartment search if you want my opinion on um 
apartments, whatever, DM me, text me. I like looking at apartments. I, I still be looking at them. Um, but I'm here to help. I want to see y'all succeed. Cause like y'all are like my children. <laughs> but yeah, if you need anything, just hit me up. Literally, I'm always, a, I'm not always available. But if you need anything, hit me up. If you need some advice, if you need my opinion, hit me up. Leave something down below. If you have some tips to add, leave them down below. If you thought the video was trash, unsubscribe. Hit that little X button at the top of the screen. But yes, I'm gonna go ahead and get out of here. But before I go, we are about to hit a year on this channel um, in a 12 days. So I will have a new intro for y'all. I will have a new outro for y'all. And the day that I hit one year, I'm gonna upload a cool video just pretty much talking about why I do YouTube, what I wanna do with YouTube, and what my future hopefully looks like with YouTube. Okay, so yeah, I'll get into it. So I already know what it is, you already know what it ain't. And I'll see y'all in my next video.